All right, welcome back. In the last video, uh, we were trying to uh, prep ourselves to figure out what our third equation is. So in this video, um, I actually wrote this equation. I'm gonna erase this because I, I just, I don't like it. I'm gonna keep M, uh, VBA and VCD on the same side of the equation for now, okay? So in order to figure out what VBA and VCD are, we need to, um, look at these members separately. So if we were to look at member AB and I said the sum of the moments at uh, let's see point A is equal to zero and point A I'm gonna I'm gonna look right here um, and I'm gonna say clockwise is positive I'm gonna get MBA or I'm sorry MAB plus M B A um, plus V B A uh, times 12 is equal to zero, right? So I took a moment about here. You have M A B uh, going clockwise here. You have M B A going clockwise here, and then uh, V B A, uh, the distance from A to B uh, was 12, 12 meters, right? Um, and if I solve for VBA, I'm going to get VBA is equal to negative MAB plus MBA uh, over 12, right? And if I looked at, now I'm going to look at member C or CD. And I, I decide to take the moment about this point D. Um, I'm going to get sum of the moments about point D is equal to zero. Uh, let's just say clockwise is positive. Um, that means I'm going to get MCD uh, plus MDC uh, plus VCD times the height 12 or the distance is equal to zero, right? So you have M, uh, you have MCD is going clockwise here. Um, MDC is positive there. And then you have VCD times 12 uh, is equal to zero. And if I solve for uh, VCD, I get negative um, MCD plus MDC, right? DC over 12 is equal to zero. Now, we can take these two shears that we found and we can plug them into this, this equation here. Uh, let's do that in a different color. So um, let me just rewrite that equation down here so we have a, a little bit more space. All right, so uh, the equation was um, 30 um, minus VBA uh, minus VCD is equal to zero, right? It's a, just the same equation, same equation, right? And here we actually figured out what VCD and VBA were. So I can uh, plug that in. I can say 30 minus uh, VBA, which is negative MAB plus MBA over 12. Um, and then minus VCD. VCD was negative MCD plus MDC um, over 12. Um, and that's equal to zero, right? If, let's uh, simplify, so this becomes 30 plus MAB plus MBA over 12 plus MCD uh, plus MDC over 12 is equal to 30, I'm sorry, uh, zero. Um, what I can do here is I can multiply everything by 12, right, to cancel this out, this out, 30 becomes uh, 360, right, 30 times 12, um, and I bring this 360 to the other side, um, I end up with MAB plus MBA plus MCD plus MDC is equal to negative 360, right, just a, a little bit of um, algebra. So now I'm ready to plug in 
uh, these four unknown moment equations, MAB, MBA, MCD, MDC. Um, and these are the equations we got up here, right? This, right, all of these. So if I plug those four equations in, um, here's what I'll get. And I'll, I'll do this in a different color. Uh, let's do it in Scion. So, um, if I plugged everything in, I'd get uh, EI over 6 uh, theta B uh, minus 3 psi, uh, and that's MAB, right? I, I really hope so. MAB was EI over 6 theta B minus 3 psi. Right, um, and let me just make sure I'll, I'll keep track of this as I'm going along. Um, M MBA was plus, right now we're doing this one, uh, EI over 6, um, 2 theta B uh, minus 3 psi, uh, and then plus EI over 6. Right, MCD uh, was uh, 2 theta C uh, minus 3 psi, and then MDC, which was MDC was EI over 6 uh, theta C minus 3 psi, right? Uh, you guys can't see that, can you? Uh, that's good, right? Uh, so MDC was um, EI over 6 um, times theta C minus 3 psi. And all that's equal to negative 360, right? Um, here I can factor out an EI over 6. That's kind of nice. Um, and I get uh, theta B here minus 3 psi uh, plus 2 theta B minus 3 psi plus 2 theta c minus 3 psi uh, plus theta c minus 3 psi, right? And that's equal to negative 360. So let's, let's simplify this uh, down a bit, ei over 6, right? You have theta b, you have 1 theta b, you have uh, 2 theta b, uh, so that's, that's 3 theta b, right? Then you have uh, 2 theta c here, a theta c here, that's plus 3 theta c. Then you have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 3 size, uh, so that's minus 12 psi. That's equal to negative 360. Uh, let's get rid of the 6. Um, so multiply everything by 6. You get ei uh, times 3 theta b plus. 3 theta c minus 12 psi uh, is equal to uh, 6 times negative 360 is uh, 2160. Okay, now this is our um, equation number 3. Equation uh, number 3. Okay, so we have these three equations we can actually uh, now figure out what theta b, theta c, and psi are. Uh, we'll do that in the next video. All right, see you then.